Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a new look at Poison. This deck has been floating around a little bit and it's definitely a unique take, a little brother if you would, to what the other Poison decks are as we're not playing Rot Priest in this list or we're not playing Blue in this list, which is definitely a big contributor. We're kind of playing, like I said, it's a little brother in terms of the black cards. So instead of bouncing stuff, we are focusing on removing it permanently. One of the cool things that we get in this deck real quick is the fact that if we do get three poison on our opponent, this is two mana exile anything. This might be two mana exile on Atraxa in this very video. I don't know. I'm just the one that played the games. <laughs> but outside of that, we're going to take a new look at poison here. It's a lot more based around removal and getting in with the duelist using kind of that Skrelv duelist combo and hopefully getting there very quickly and having Veraska of all things come in and close out this game i'll move it real quick just in case you want to pause and read it but outside of that let's go ahead and hop into the games i hope you all enjoy it. and if you do please subscribe to my channel i truly appreciate it let's just get out there and game well i think this poison's my opponent and i think that's what we want so we'll keep oh i see how it is now that i'm not playing rakdos i finally play against a i finally play against a creature deck crazy I was playing Rakdos earlier today, you know, doing my thing. And all I was playing against was control decks, so that was pretty cool. But uh, here we are, Mono White, probably life gain, but I mean, we're also their counter, so ain't complaining too much, I guess. Uh, do we just cut down this and try to hit them? Like, this is like not really a way they block, I think, in my opinion. Uh, let's play out Mirix with the combat. Act. Oh, it's on site now. I don't really care about that thing. I'm just going to pass. I'll cut that down. That's a big creature. I don't want to deal with that. Good. I'm good. Oh, what do we want to do here? Do I want to proliferate? Do I want to take this out and attack? Very, very questionable. Because then they can remove this and get it back. But I kind of like this play. Give me another poison creature. If they play another lord, they can't just attack me. Eventually, the opponent's going to have to block. And minus four, minus four, then proliferate. It's going to be a weird style from what we were playing in the past. Because using things like anointed with affliction, which doesn't have proliferate, I get. Well, actually... With our poison, it's way better of a card. I've never used this card whenever I'm playing Poison the Exile. That creature instead of control has three or more poison. Yeah, this card gets significantly better. <laughs> my. My, oh my. Oh, another card to drown just picks up cleanly. They use a lot of their mana and hit two one drops. Okay. Oh, thank you. Like, oh my, dude, just let me out. We're going to get this off the board. We're going to go up to that poison count. Please, next time just pay attention i'm talking to myself but i need to pay attention to make sure that my mirix isn't being tapped but now they finally trade getting a little nervous i think on what's potentially to come and if we draw another mana then we have drown and anointed and we're going to be flying there we go there we go there we go bigger, bigger and bigger creatures sure I mean, i'll take it that's even better because this is kind of what i want to target anyway Try to the bottom, sure. Oh, and the land drop comes. Okay, well. Get this off the battlefield. Um, get this off the battlefield. We'll take a little bit more damage. That's now gone. Of course, we'll proliferate. They're up to five we double attack they're now at seven this is an exile of anything they get lost okay that's fine kind of not like really fine but it's like kind of fine you find something good like weirdly good attack kind of forced to block 
buff here. Then we can just pass. And then we can cut down and then anointed with affliction something. I know. For three, I'm going to let it go. There's a Thalia. Sure. Thalia, I'd much rather remove. Especially right now. Here. Man, it's going to be such a close call. Exile. Uh, map. Do we really just need to manipulate it at this point? More lands, okay. Attack, update. Now they probably have to consider holding back, but unsure. We've just attacked and made another Mirix token. Well, now I still had to remove the Thalia. So then the Mirix token wasn't quite like a thing that we could have online. Drawing two lands there, maybe not the best unless we find a Veraska at some point. But now they're in a weird spot because again, if they attack me and I remove their blocker, if they don't have a creature in hand, I hit them and they go to nine, any proliferate, they die. If they double attack me and just kind of hope to race me, it technically falls short unless they have a creature here. They might. Never know. They might. Uh, yeah, because we have second seed core, so we'll play a welcome. We'll go to combat. But first, I'm going to play this and try to draw a card. I do think this might be tanking on a get lost. I want to see maximum cards before I fire it off. This also could be a recruitment officer activation. You got opponent. Removal or what? Attack? But it also could be a dead card and it could just be a recruitment officer. They get lost there. They feel like they have to use it on that because of what we got going on. So. Well, this can technically block and I can buff it. So it's actually. If I hit a land, don't need that. So that's fine. And now because I don't have a land, I should have left it on top to guarantee a hit. Dang it. That's a punt by me. It's kind of annoying. But I really wanted to value my cards and maybe find a Vraska or something. I could do that next turn though. Not opposed to taking this block there's reasons for it so this block happens their creatures gone i maintain my life total this comes in i draw a card i find another one i can cycle this talking numa okay they concede right so we could have cycled the talking numa to go into our graveyard here and just real quick please let me go um we were going to go talk numa grab this annex entry and then play it and then exile this if we could if not um because they played kellen we're obviously going to take the kellen and then we'd still draw a card or maybe we just flood the board regardless uh depending on what we drew for turn so we take those we take those what is first i'm playing poison i go first you keep we have a turn one Skrelv, any draw is good. Drown Icker is good. We can attack with Skrelv if they don't have anything for it. It is an artifact. So go for the third, it's a little tough at times. Yeah. Um, because it is what it is, I actually rather play the cores first because now if they remove it, which depending what they are, it's going to get exiled or go under a ley line binding, in which Vras is going to be good in this matchup. Blue, white, green, black, and red. Leyline Binding is available, which is cringe. But we get the poison in anyway. Very sick. The only card that's really not going to matter is this Drown Nicker for the most part. 
But if they play a topiary stomper, this actually kills it. Up to Beanstalk. Full tap out. Full tap, full stop. Oh, depopulate possible, huh? Let's play in Ganjo. Let's move to combat. We attack here because we're going to play Duelist now. And we'll end turn. Obviously protecting ourselves from a ley line binding. And right now we have five on board. Ooh. Is this the reason domain sucks in best of one hand? Very possible. Virtue's not possible. Sure, I'll take my turn. I will move to combat. Attacks? Did I take the gamble that they don't have anything? Uh, probably not. Okay. Yeah, probably still not, right? Because if they don't have anything and they've been drawing the way they have, I feel like they would have gone for Virtue anyway. We could get hit with a Sunfall here and that'll suck. Um, especially considering we didn't really draw lands. Well, Sunfall is not possible now. Depopulate's good. Make a Might. Gonna be the strongest little lad in the land. Don't you worry. One more land and Vraska's online. Which I'm not entirely sure they can be. Brown. Brown Icker is also online. Sorcery. So realistically, if they just give us a creature to target, we have three more poison just online ish. And then this is just two mana exile anything, which is super sick. Oh, herd migration. That would have been a nice card just to play. You get land. Swamp it is. Take my turn. Eric's is sick. Combat. Attack. Alright, that's stuck. Yeah, the drill. Here comes here comes Veraski. Brawl proliferate. Yep. Seems good. Alright. Now uh <laughs> It's so sick that this is just two mana exile on Atraxa. Uh, Leyline Binding plus White Source, but I think they played land. I think they played a Swamp already, so I'm sure. I don't even grab a land. Do they have a land? Isn't this like the most satisfying thing you've ever seen? Attack, hit, plus Veraska, and we get there. I think it's crazy. To have anointed affliction be able to just two mana instant speed exile target creature <laughs> like it's so sick and no drawback on that either like they don't get a land or anything it's just goodbye all right they keep seven we'll keep our seven lower matchup it seems the cave really like to get a creature down all right. Well, I mean, we have a turn two play. That's for sure. That exiled. Four lands and a Veraskin hand. It's actually not that bad. Let's see if we need to entry something here. And they missed a land drop. So I think now we know why they were kind of tanking for so long. And in case of another NT, I kind of want to just play this uh, sentry here. Should have played the seed core. Uh, yeah, we'll take this. We can exile an artifact. That's her artifact. Okay, that's a thing. All right. Well, nothing from our opponent here leads us to good fortune for sure. Attack. Bolt surge maybe. We just want to hit and get this poison then. We just want one. They take the damage. Brutal. Why? Oh boy. I'm gonna pass. I'll just make a Merrick's token, I think. Again, really trying to get this poison started. Attacking, sure. A little confused on that. Maybe looking for a land now. Maybe they missed again. I mean, that's bad news for us to some extent because that means they're flooding on land in hand. So I would put this as their Rakdos mainly. Which that gives us more confirmation, not necessarily Grixis. 
this is just the land they're using to cycle. Okay. Uh, combat. Attack. And so it begins, huh? This off the battlefield. Now, it's Poison City. And we play Skrell. Welcomes have so far felt like the worst card in my deck, but also I've been playing against decks that have been kind of more aggro heavy. So I feel like I need to get my stuff set down and play. Hey, I've played Rakdos enough to go for the throat sucks against these cards. Yeah, that's a Gix. It is a Gix indeed. So here's the other awkward part for us. We're going to play this. So that's pretty sick. But then we're going to drown this. I would love to play Braska and kind of turn this into a treasure, but they're missing land, so there's no reason for us to give that up. And because they're struggling, I'm definitely just going to double attack here, because even if they kill this, I proliferate. They find it. Logical Appraiser. Did I sit in? Go for the throat. Okay. So, the thing we talked about. This will be gone. And we can proliferate. Get that poison count up. So, Seacourt comes in. I'll play land. I can give this protection from red. Put them at eight. And then play Veraska. Put them at nine. Now they have like a ton they have to answer. I guess I don't even have to. I can just double attack. But this automatically gives me two. Uh, red. Combat attack. Get quite a lot of damage here. Down to 10. All right. You have a turn. Figure it out. Crash is at five. Bitter Tramp does answer it. You brother said it's close, but it would kill your appraiser as well. We just need one poison and they're just not going to be able to get us. And that's one of the hard things when you're playing a deck like that. If you stumble for a turn and you're playing against a poison deck or super aggro, you know, and we have them all not a repetitive white source there. I don't think we can keep. And then we just throw a Vraska back here. Um, with the fact that we can play a duelist on two, I'm going to play a scroll. This duelist very quick becomes four damage or four in fact. And now we pass. Now we have protection for duelist at least. Black source, a white source, Orza. This is Demir. Thoughts? You got for me, opponent. The struggle sum of me going first and putting a scrub on the battlefield already has them kind of fighting. He's putting a sacrifice to non-token creature. Sure. That one's gone. Obviously, to me, Duelist is a little bit better just overall. Now we attack. Get that double points and then play this. Play this. Now we have the poison on full stack right now. Eric's Sunset Revelry. Sure. Uh, really only killed one creature here. So, obviously, we're going to get that in. Yeah? That's what you want to do? Sure. Uh, I don't have a black, so it gets that, too. I, for whatever reason, I thought I had black for that, but I don't. So we get this in. We're good. Maybe. Uh, each point sacrifice a non-token creature. It's gonna be this, and they they give it up. Man. Times like these, that poison just has to set these people back in their place. Fully a joke, by the way. I think poison's the problem, not uh the other decks. Sure. Okay, we'll keep. Being on the draw and it's kind of annoying. 
Uh, it is what it is. Back. Oh, I get to poison then. That's kind of crazy. Of course, sure. What do you have? You have something. It's pausing. Here. I'll take my turn again. Finding land after land. Back here. A double attack situation because I can still get to double poison then if they try to do something. And we'll just slowly grind this game if we have to. Throw out the welcome. They can counter this. We'll give them something to counter if they want. Ooh, don't do it. Now it'll be play Mirix. Hopefully they don't play, I don't know, Field of Ruin. That would suck. To play it right on curve. And this is why they play it. You're unsure why. Back here. Play Mirix. Try to pass. Emery Deluge. Oh, you're going to draw some cards. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Make a token. Draw a card. Sounds better than really making like uh, making control deck have to worry about your card advantage. Look at this. We're basically a combo deck. And now we have like every removal spell for this that we could want. We really want to drown it if we can. Fatty. Uh, there's so many words on this card. Plus, tap on tap, sure. I mean, it's got summoning sickness regardless. You know how you have demo field over there? Maybe at some point. Just a theory. We use it. Who knows? It's like tough, but I you'd like I don't I don't see why they didn't untap it there, you know? Okay. No? At this point, I'm just looking to get as much poison in as I can while I can. Uh, white, sure. So this is gonna put them up to seven. We're good. And then we'll make a Mirix token on their turn. They can like draw and do some other things. They want, who knows? Uh, not token creature, no. I know which one that is. At some point, at some point, they have to demolition field this Mirix, right? Sacrifice demolition field, destroy target non basic land and opponent controls. Control is just slam for a basic. I get it. But they really need to force me to do something. Oh. Oh, mama mia. We weirdly, we weirdly have the answers for this. Who would have thought that creature removal was going to be good against a control deck yeah first play that that's fine do this one fine you're all the way up and now i'll hit you for three uh yeah we have realm and the duelist and a removal spell early pretty much not a whole lot more you can ask for whenever you can play scrawl and get a duelist online and you have four poison at a turn I cooked up. It's so hard for anybody to really answer. As we get through a turn, Duelist resolves and no attack here from us. We just have that good protection. It's humans. There's a Denic. Okay. Denic, I'm not really concerned about. Seed core coming down. This. We're going to name. Blue. I think I think why we can get this going we should uh, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of other ways we should go about this plus we don't have black mana for either of our removal I keep thinking I do like I don't know why but I just keep thinking that it's a Rafine 
I mean, you can't attack with Denik, that's for sure. All right, more removal. Uh, maybe they'll do it in response. Who knows? I mean, we're gonna keep going for it. Uh, white. Giving it protection from things like get lost. They do play like go for the throws and stuff. Uh, yes. Who knows? Okay. Okay. We're at eight poison and it's turn three. Draw a black source. I think this game is about as chalked up as you could ask for it to be. You have something to flash in. What is this? Oh, we gave it protection from the right color. Not protection from white answers everything. They but they have to have answer for duelist. They do have answer for duelist. You draw a card. The only problem is they have answer for duelist or scrub, for example, but um a planes, uh turn oh welcome huh Let's play welcome I you know the scroll just wait a turn no reason to get like too crazy here and just pass like I could have buffed this but if they double block and then block here with like the small guy and then it's just troublesome all around uh now that we have a sentry we did find a creature at least that can actually answer some of this board we might see a big attack and then just play a virtue and then we know we have it from there but they can't afford to do that so Dude, how are they getting timed? What? Rain is back on its nonsense again. Make disappear. Okay. You just have to hope it's enough. Uh, white is definitely the color to name. nothing going on now it's just a fistful of black cards not a whole lot to lot to show for it and a mastermind you have six damage on board it's... okay well I'm home. i think it's a situation where they have to exile scrub definitely a hard decision this is what you get for hurting my people um Oh, no block. No block. There's a punt by me, man. Ah, that sucks. So annoying. I guess I can do it again regardless. Uh, that block makes sense to me. Holy. One mana? Yeah, we slam a Varaska, that's for sure. Plus. Uh, yeah. The reason we slam Varaska first is because now they have to answer it or kill me and our drown uh, proliferates and wins. I can't believe I just didn't block there to get that extra card draw. I'm um, a big stoopy head, you know? 
What you got for me? Are you able to answer both? Fiend? They're gonna try, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, make this pier is not enough either. Actually, it is. Or even like killing their own creature, but they look, they don't find an answer. Um, so we get to come away with that game. It's very cool. We want to go first. Ugh. I mean, sure. We have like the best poison creature to have. And Mono Red decides since uh, they wanted somebody to go first, they said, don't worry, I'll take up the mantle. I love going first the way we need to be to win. Play chorus, and this is just going to be a race. Sure. I can't block now. That's fine. Uh, yeah, combat attack. Wasn't fast. Now we just wait for them to put like a squee on the stack. We'll just exile that, get rid of it permanently. Feels pretty good. Uh, that's also sick nasty. So play this. We take that under our wing. They're down to three cards. We attack. We hit for one infect. And now we're calling it a good day. And then we'll play a Mirix, play a Duelist, play a Rat. Uh, or depending, I guess. The hard cast Witch Stalker Frenzy. Sure. Isn't it crazy at 16 and them at two poison that we had the same amount pretty much lined up? I guess... I think that's like a wild thing to think about but on one hand we're gonna we're gonna play our rat and then we're going to drown this and then we're gonna proliferate and then we're gonna attack so now even if this rat dies we proliferate again and then duelist can come in after and we can buff it just in case of like an end of festivities then he strike my face they said uh we can we can have a race if you'd like and we're definitely about to turn on the gas, that's for sure. Uh, again, because of in the festivities, I think I have to take one damage here. And play this. Then go to combat, hit. And now the race is really on. If you want to do it, like, math-wise, they're at 8, we're at 10. Our board state is dominant in comparison. Gotta probably be a loot, maybe. Ooh, no, they're gonna grow and go over the top, maybe. Uh, block here. Then it's gonna be a monster rage, and then we're gonna blow them out. Oh, lightning strike! You saw the line, huh? You were you were afraid. But I was hoping for a monster rage because then this would have just blown it out. Uh, Skrell? Attack? Alright. Got lethal or not? Spear is not lethal. And I will take the dub against Mono Red. And just like that, you know? Taking down the best of the best in the best of one meta. And they were on the play. But I guess it goes to show, at least in my eyes, whenever you don't see a turn one Kamano that you actually feel like you have a chance. Because turn one Kamano typically means turn three Godric and you're just getting floored. So, uh, opponent goes first. I mean, we have, of course, we have Duelist. We have the welcome kind of just curve out. It'll just really depend how this goes, I guess. Um, we'll keep. Oh, okay, well, all right. Uh, play has changed. We're playing a Skrell 1 1, then playing a Duelist after that. Main problem will be if they answer Skrell and then. This is going to be the hardest card for us to play, I guess. So we'll just get it out of the way right away. Uh, we'll play this. 
we'll fight duelist and we'll do nothing we'll probably see like a liliana here i would imagine seems like a discard kind of card style deck motion field is online if they want to use it but then our Mirix is pretty wide open to come into play under welcome we probably could have discarded a land but i didn't really want to discard too much uh back <laughs> was that just the old-fashioned maybe that maybe they'll mess it up not see it the old-fashioned don't look at your cards dog <laughs> no i get it for sure like this was so hard about the poison deck. They just looked at their hand most likely and were just like, this is the only chance. Sometimes you have to just hope for your opponent to misplay. And that was probably what it was. Cause even Liliana is kind of like awkward. They can't play it obviously. Cause they don't have the mana for it. But even if they like play Liliana, we're going to play the chorus next turn, put a Mirix into play. Now they have to deal with the Mirix, the chorus, the Skrelv making Duelist double hit and put four poison on you. It just gets really hard and complicated. So fast and it's so unreasonable to try to keep up with all right we played other poison decks now we played this one uh we got to play the welcome which is cool i do think so far the welcome was the weakest link by a lot actually i think in this deck i would have preferred this to be a two of and then this to be a four of which is kind of weird to say or even just like i i, I don't know it's so awkward maybe even just like another poison deck like card or something or just maybe another spot up removal spell just to make sure our board stays clear or just something to kind of like give our stuff maybe protection like a Lawrence escape maybe just it's just another like weird card to play because a lot of times if we were able to keep like a duelist online it just felt good the rat was like cool because it was just hard to remove but if they exiled it did nothing but obviously i think the best the reason this deck is so stacked and so strong at least the words off variation of it it's just kind of this one-two punch with the Skrelv coming in on one and then a Duelist, especially on the play, because if they don't still have a cut down right away, um, I mean, turn one, you play Skrelv, they play land, don't do anything. You play Duelist, you have protection for Duelist. And if they're not stopping it then, or if their only answer is like, like creatures, now we're like, give this protection for whatever color your creature is, and then we'll drown your creature after, and then you'll be at five poison on turn three and you'll have nothing in play to show for it and then you'll have to go to your third turn thinking about how you're going to stop what's on the board and if you play another creature you're at nine poison now because we'll just give duelist protection again and it's just like that kind of hand is just impossible to beat if you're like a creature deck or like a deck that's not going to be playing a whole lot of spot removal and it's just tough sometimes and that's just what we get to do with this deck my reasoning for playing it today realistically came down to just like getting Veraska back into a deck i love playing planeswalkers i'll move it over here so the whole card's highlighted if you want to read the whole thing i love playing planeswalkers overall i do like i think when i started playing standard back in like war of the spark I, that's when i started playing magic but back in war of the spark i was just like bant walkers is really cool i love being able to activate planeswalkers over and over again and the lore that they're just like they're that the planeswalkers you kind of summon to help you and like stuff like that so it's really cool all around i had fun playing this list do i think this list is better than the bant one not really i think two of the matches i cut like that will be out of the video was just um i was on the draw against bant poison we just got smoked it just wasn't close and i felt like two poison decks it's pretty much whoever goes first in those regards and then after that it's just like okay good luck you know um as long as you can get there with the cards that are in your hand before if you go into top deck mode then your other opponent could potentially win there but if you can just like get enough counters with what's in your hand which they definitely have the capability of doing because they just both played hive on turn two right away and then they were just bounce spell bounce spell or just like using the sentry and they were just taking everything they needed and i was just short of finding any removal so is what it is but sometimes that happens and that's just what you got to live with sometimes so outside of that i hope you all enjoyed i had fun playing this deck today it's definitely a really cool one if you're wanting to try to revive your love for vraska 
if that's your thing. But again, I think potentially the change I would make is the welcome over the sentry. Because if you are playing against more aggro, the sentry is going to be a lot better at clearing the way for you. Then the welcome is going to be a card advantage machine because it's kind of the last thing you want to play most of the time. And then you're drawing off Mirix. And if that's the case, last album is not that bad. Even if you do a 3-3 split, I feel like it's a lot better there. But that's all that. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll catch y'all later. I guess, I guess last note, now I'm sitting here thinking about it. Outside of the lands, which like lands are the one thing on Arena, you should probably always have craft, even if you are a budget deck or a budget player. Uh, not really that expensive. Like, these are all commons, uncommons. These are eight rares, three mythics. Like, obviously, all these lands are good. Like, you kind of need these. You kind of need these. But realistically, this is one of the best lands in standard currently. Most of the people will have them because you just kind of have to have them for most late game strategy decks anyway. And then this land is definitely a little bit more questionable. But I think people watching this would definitely have saw the power of today um if you're also looking on the budget side probably don't have to play this for fiends tower you can probably just trim and play another basic most of the time we have these regardless um if you've played the set most of the time you get at least like one of each rare if you play magic kind of daily and do your challenges or whatever so you might have one of these just trim and a ganjo play more basics and you should be good so outside of that, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you're watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.